Hey, I'm here in Washington, D.C. I'm looking at the ride, sort of a prototype. It's it's middle of 2014, and it sounds like you guys started this project in the middle of 2013. So you've kind of been going for about a year? Yeah, so our first prototype was actually built in mid-2013, but we've been working on it for probably 18 to 20 months. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, so we've gotten... We built a bunch of different prototypes, and this is close to our final build. Uh, our bikes will be coming off the production line soon, and we'll be delivering them late summer. Sweet, and this is a Kickstarter bike, right? So, you know, it was crowdfunded. A lot of people were getting excited about it. And you told me on your your original models, you were sort of modeling in steel and some of the properties of that. You were able to like drill into it and really dial it in before you go to aluminum. Yeah, for sure. The the benefit of steel is that you can really change things on the frame. Mm -hmm. um, after it's been built with aluminum, once it's heat treated, you're kind of stuck with it. Right. Um, so it made it easier to kind of prototype and try different things out when we were building in steel. It does look nice. And you, you mentioned so that there's sort of the down tube area. I can see yeah. a hub motor. Can you give me the overview? I mean, I know the specs are on Kickstarter, but it's it's just neat to hear from the creators, like, you know, what, what the idea was with this bike. Yeah. So we're using a uh, 350 watt uh, nominal motor, power motor with a 600 watts peak. Um, it's a great motor um, from uh, TDCM. Cool. Um, direct drive, right? So it, is, it yeah. looks like yeah. you, I guess the way direct drives work, you've got big magnets and there's a stator and they're just smooth and they're, they're durable. And so quiet. And quiet. Yeah. So you don't yeah. really hear, they make no noise at all. Um, super quiet, super stealth. Um, and actually on the production model, the motor will be in matte black. So it'll be even more stealthy. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, that'll, it'll, so it's all, it's all matching kind of that. Like. It's all matching. Yeah. And then you got some pops of color as well. So you got some pops of color. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> uh -huh. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> that's, <laughs> yep, that's the idea. Um, and then the battery is a, a battery that we actually, um, custom made with an American company, um, that goes specially, special shape to fit inside the down tube. Um, so it's 8.7 amp, 36 volts. Um, you're going to get about 20 to 25 mile range. It's going to charge in about two to three hours. Hmm. Um, and then the controller inside the bike is actually from a great Canadian company uh, that makes, we think, the best controllers. Where's the, um, where is the controller? The controller is actually right up top. Uh, right up top, okay. Up top, yeah. Is this designed to be just, it sort of stays in, in the frame and, and then you charge it that way? Exactly. So our production model has a steel uh, plate on the bottom and everything stays in, although the components are designed to be plug and play. So if anything were to happen, uh, they're warranted. You pop them out uh, a couple minutes and you put a new one back in. Really? Okay. And if you, so to pop stuff out, you said there's like a plate on the bottom that you'd exactly, be able to... Exactly. With a few screws that, that you take off and it's all plug and play. It's I, really easy to, to pop it in and out. I love the, you know, it's like balanced. It looks like the weight's distributed pretty well. And I was curious, you kind of hinted at like, oh, if you need replacements kind of stuff. So it, would there be a warranty? And what's your plan if someone needs to replace a battery after a few years? Or something? Definitely. So all of the electrical components are warrantied for two years and that's by the factory itself, but we'll actually administer the warranty. So any issues, give us a call, we ship you. Like I said, everything's designed to be plug and play. Issue with the motor, you take the whole back wheel off, we ship you a new one and it's, it's really easy to, to go on and off. That is pretty cool. And do you have just, you know, shout out, what's your personal website? Like, so people can go check it out if they, they weren't on the Kickstarter. Definitely. It's ride.com, ride with two eyes. Okay. I was like, man, that's, that's a sweet URL. It's like nice and short and, <laughs> yes. and it's a cool name. Is this like, uh, tell me about the logo. Is there a story behind this? It almost looks like two people like riding. <laughs> yeah. So the idea is it's transportation 2.0. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why there's the two eyes and the two dots. Uh, but see. also you get the two eyes. The two dots can be, you know, bicycle wheels or people. I think there's a lot of room to interpret it as you will. We yeah. have an awesome, awesome creative director, uh, Courtney Jackson. Um, My name's Courtney. <laughs> wow. I know. I, I like that we even more. <laughs> That's sweet. So we're looking at, it looks like a sort of a single speed and um, okay. So you can pedal backwards, uh, yeah. disc brakes. Give me the rest of the specs here. Yeah. So what, part of the idea is we did hundreds of customer interviews. We rode tons of different bikes and we found that people weren't really shifting gears. Hmm. Um, a lot of times they were just using the throttle more or less if they wanted to go faster or slower. Right. Um, and the most common part of the bike to break is the gearing and derailing. So we said, oh, we'll just take the gearing and derailing off. Got it. Um, so it's a single speed bike. Um, it's meant to have minimal maintenance. Um, all of the mechanical components are anything that you can, or you can find in any standard bike shop. Yeah. Um, they're all, they're all standard. Um, the Abbott BB7 brakes. Right. Yeah. yeah. Good stopping power. I was looking from that yeah. other side and yeah. I like the pedals. I don't know. Are those, is that kind of the direction you're going for the final product? Yeah, we actually, we ordered these pedals. They're from Fixation, which is a really cool company. Um, they do a bunch of stuff with fixed gear components and bikes. Okay. Um, Very cool. It seems them. like, you know, probably good balance and it feels really light. 
Yeah, one of the things we really like about this is that you can really ride it like a traditional bike if you want to. Um, at 35 pounds, um, once you get up to speed, it's just like riding any bike. Yeah, um, 35 pounds, really impressive. Okay, so, um, gosh, I feel like I've got I got a really good rundown on this thing. Anything else you want to add about just the company or about you know your plans with this bike? And the future <laughs> yeah i mean our goal is really just to get these bikes out you know so many people we talk to have never heard of electric bikes and and don't know uh, what they can really do and and how they can sort of improve your everyday life so we're just excited to to get people on the bikes and uh, see them with big smiles on their faces as they zip around the city yeah awesome sweet well thank you both it's really cool to see this thing in person and uh just see it coming to life like this so we gotta get you on it <laughs> yeah, let's check take a it ride. out let's go